Okay, um, this is gonna be the first video update that I do, um, that I, I'm gonna have video games, basically video game footage going on in the background, um, so, yeah, got Roblox going, it's a pretty cool free-to-play game that's, um, on the Xbox, um, it's alright of a game, but that's not what I'm gonna be talking about here, um, as you know, I have Perfect Dark going on as a current LP. I yeah, Jack record. Yes. Oh my God! You start up a new game and you haven't even finished all your other ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Just um, I was gonna LP Perfect Dark with somebody. I won't mention names. But, uh, the reason I'm not, and I'm gonna get to that later. Uh, actually, I should say the, re the reason why I'll get to it later. But yeah, I primarily did it as a single player playthrough as... Okay, I'm getting tired of reading, I'm getting antsy to record this, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing it now. Also, um, I've seen Johnny Stollard's video on his opinion about relationships, and as I made a as I make a comment, you know, like saying, "Okay, okay I've, I've been through this shit. I can, I can relate to you on on these fronts." Yeah, it's just a lot of my. Problems have been dismissed for a stupid reason. I've been through a lot of shit that he's been through. I've been cheated on. I've been lied to. Oh, shit's been held from me. Like, I'd, I'd go further into this by saying I've been mislabeled. I've been straw manned. Like, for instance, um, I've been called with, um, he who will not be named, and Johnny Stollard, basically speaking my opinion on, um, well, not necessarily speaking my opinion on Nail Varnish, but just bringing forth the fact that Nail Varnish was primarily made for women, and guess who strawmanned me, and to saying, oh, he's saying that he has a problem with men using nail varnish, and he's saying that men can't well na wear nail, nail varnish, and he's a sexist for saying that, which is going into SJW territory, is this? It, it really is. Say something that a social justice warrior doesn't like, or you say something that triggers them, They'll call you a sexist, they'll call you a misogynist, they'll call you, say, if you're talking about rape, they'll call you a rape apologist, they'll, they'll name you everything in the book to dismiss your arguments and make you look bad. Just, that was going, that, that was what was going on with, um, my conversation about the nail varnish thing. I was being called sexist because I was pointing out the fact that nail varnish was made for women. That's not saying that men can't burn nail varnish. And pointing to a few examples, just a few cases of men wearing nail varnish does not change the fact that um, nail varnish is a feminine product. Why is that? If nail varnish is a unisex product, which, let's be honest, it isn't. Why are so many feminists getting upset over nail varnish that changes color when it detects date? drugs. It was marketed to protect the women. Given power to women. Which is really cool. Give self to, give some to give something that offends women. That's that's awesome. But even if that is my opinion, it's just an opinion. So, what? Opinions don't hurt anyone. Just simply having an opinion cannot hurt anyone. And honestly, I have no idea what to say to you if you're so weak to the fa to the point 
to where you have Oh, I have her fifties because someone said an opinion I didn't like. <laughs> oh wow, this is turning more into a rant than a video update. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that was kind of the thing. Uh, I've also been um, threatened. That's someone um, I'm referring to, um, yeah, just, I'm just gonna leave it at that, it's, I've, I've been threatened. And because of that, um, I've taken down the, um, one of Gamer's videos, and I've rebranded it to the Daytime Lounge. Hey, you should know where that inspiration of that came from. I mean, come on, Data Dine. If you don't know that reference, what is wrong with you? Oh yeah, there's someone new that I plan on sharing that channel with. And perhaps if she and I get together, um, you know, make videos for that channel. I mean, not someone I'm Referring to Rick's three jobs, so that's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Not to mention, I'm gonna be getting my job soon, so yeah, I'm gonna have less time devoted to my live streams. I'm gonna have less time devoted to my solo channel as a result. Much less time for for my rebranded um, channel. So those are. Pretty much the haps. And um, unfortunately, um, mission one two is gonna have to is gonna be delayed under a tech issue. I've um, as I stated in mission one one, I've recorded it on an underpowered laptop. And even though the frame drop was bad, thank you, Johnny Star, for pointing that out. Even though I've stated that at the beginning of the video, thank you for pointing out that out nonetheless. I'm gonna have to re-record that and then post that up as soon as I can. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing much time that I can do so. That's pretty much all I wanted to say at this given time. And... That's someone I've done, I've done a brief rant about. Um, if she does a video, I'm, I might have to do a response video to it because more than likely she's gonna strawman me and make me sound seem like this incompetent buffoon who can't do anything right. And if that video goes up, do it. It's just saying that I'm stupid or anything like that, or just uses every trick in the book to. Um, Make me sound, make me seem like a moron. Just know that I freaking called it. Well, this has been. Well, <laughs> this is gonna be inconsistent, but this has been, as of now, Datadyne Executive. Yeah, I'm rebranding myself to Datadyne Executive as of right now. But I've already started the LP. I've already done a lot of recordings, just anybody's class. So I'm gonna continue using that intro until um, everything has been recorded in um, Perfect Dark. So I get. I guess there's nothing else to say. It's my Dana ex executive, and I'll see you guys later. Gotta find a new way to end these videos.